Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> I'm kind of having an AC Slater moment, if you know what I mean. I'm Joel Kurlovsky, the super brave teacher, the super brave gay teacher who is back at it in his ballet outfit, ready to share another story with you. Yep, my best ballet lesson that I learned this past year. Ready for it? So before I get going with the story, make sure you like this video, share this video, and get the word out about the super brave teacher so that we can tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way for all LGBTQ plus teachers and students. So when you Google gay teacher, lesbian teacher, transgender teacher, bisexual teacher, you see positive, uplifting, beautiful stories of people like you and me. And when you Google gay student, lesbian student, transgender student, bisexual student, asexual student, all of these things leave you with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful search results because guess what? We are beautiful, beautiful people. So thank you, friends. Before I tell you this quick story, can I just poke fun at myself and say, this is the first ballet outfit that I bought for ballet classes this past year. Yep, this past year I was like, I want to do something that I'm not good at. I want to try something different. And although I love to dance, I'm definitely not the ballet kind of a guy because I'm just more like, yay. And I thought that like the, the real ballet dancers all wear like this one, like I had that, like I said, that AC Slater impression in my mind of like that black singlet with like the leggings. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, don't worry but like with like the leggings down here and all that stuff. And I thought like this is my one outfit that like I have to get and own. And little did I know like, oh, it's okay to wear like, like dance shorts or it's okay to wear like other things besides like the one unitard. So I'm just poking fun at myself. Yep, that's what I tried and I learned. I've learned, I've learned. to the quick, short, beautiful story. And if you know me, or if you've been around me this past year, I'm sure you've heard this story, but guess what? It's worthy of being recorded and shared. I was having one of those days. You know those days when like, everything is just going wrong and you're like, why is this happening to me all day long? And you know what this guy does when things go wrong? Instead of breathing into it, which I'm learning to do, and just letting it go and letting it be what it is, I tend to like over plan and over like figure out how to get things done. So part of that plan was, you know what? I'm gonna self care and I'm gonna go to ballet class and I'm gonna just like do it right. I'm gonna do myself a solid and go do, go to ballet class. So I get to ballet class and I don't know you, but if you're like me, I'm the type of person like if I try something new, if I'm doing something new, I wanna be good at it. So I was, I, this past year I've been studying ballet every day. I've been practicing and like watching my hands and doing all this stuff and getting better and better. Watching videos, watching people on Instagram, all this stuff. So I'm taking it seriously. I'm like, I'm gonna show this teacher, this new teacher, that I'm good. So I'm taking this class and I'm just doing my stuff and we're doing my stuff and doing my stuff. And if you've ever been to a ballet class, you know that the teacher walks around and gives different tips and tricks and all this stuff feedback to the students and she comes by me on the first round and she's like are you a swimmer and I'm like she is noticing like that ballet is changing my body I'm getting leaner she's noticing like she's complimenting me and I go no why do you ask <laughs> or something like that like I was trying to like play it off and she's like because you've been holding your breath for the past three minutes. And I'm like, shoot. She noticed that like, I'm not even here right now. All I'm trying to do is like, be so proving my worth, proving my worth, proving my worth, pushing through, not, not just accepting what is, not loving what is, just pushing through. And I hear, are you a swimmer? Which turns into, you're holding your breath, you're suffocating right now. So instead of just like, I'm just gonna breathe into this moment. Guess what I did? I was like, I'm gonna prove to her that I'm the best breather in the world. I'm the best breather in the world. So she starts making around and I'm like, and I'm just breathing. Like I could have blown over the person in front of me because I was breathing so hard just to prove to her that I was a good breather. So I'm breathing and she walks by me a few times and she doesn't say anything. And I'm just like, why isn't she noticing me? Come on. So I'm like, 
whatever you do, that's not what ballet looks like if you're a ballet dancer. I'm sorry, I'm just telling a good story. And she finally comes around and she goes, you know, it's okay to have fun. You know, I can tell you love dancing. So enjoy it, have fun. This isn't Russia. You're never gonna be a professional ballet dancer and that's okay. So have fun, enjoy this right now. Enjoy this, I know you love to dance. En enjoy it, breathe because you want to be here because you love doing this. And I just, ugh, like it hit me so hard, it still does. Like every day it just hits me so hard because I realize how many things do we do in our life that are self-care, that are, that we can tell people like, oh, look, I do this and this and this. And really, we're just doing it for another sticker, for another, oh, do you notice me? Do you see these things I'm doing? And maybe, I can't speak for you, but I know that I do that. I do that all the time. And even when someone gives me beautiful advice, like breathe, all of a sudden I turn it into like a competition with myself of proving my worth. So friends, I'm gonna sit again because I have knees. I'm gonna sit and let you know that whatever you're doing, it's okay. Just be present and breathe with me. Let's try it together. And if you're breathing just because of me, just because you want a pat on the back for me, I encourage you, give yourself a pat on the back. Let yourself know that you are awesome. You are loved just for being you. And yeah, don't suffocate, friends. You're way too important. Have fun. Whatever you do for yourself, enjoy it. It's not a competition to, how, to see how many books you can read or how many meals you can cook or how many. No, you gotta do what's right and best for you. So do that. Thank you, friends, for watching this video. Thanks for hearing my story. You are appreciated. You are loved just for being you. And Joel, take a ballet class this week and breathe. Have fun. You're never gonna be the best dancer in the world, but you're gonna be you, and that is enough.